Hi all, this is Doug Lasvik, founder of Deed Street. I'm sitting with Jay Thompson, also known as the Phoenix Real Estate Guy. Hi Jay. Hey Doug. We're starting a series called Five Places in Five Weeks, where basically we sit down with a local real estate professional, in this case Jay, and he tells us how awesome his town is by taking us to five places in five weeks. The subject of this series is Gilbert. Jay, why don't you just start out by telling us a little bit about yourself and your connection to Gilbert. Sure. I'm a real estate broker, as Doug mentioned, I believe. I blog on a blog called the Phoenix Real Estate Guide, but I live in Gilbert. Gilbert's a suburb that's east of Phoenix property in what's typically called the East Valley of the Phoenix metro area. Um, it's a town, I moved here in 19... 99 and there was about 85,000 people that lived in Gilbert at the time. Here we are 10 years, 11 years later and the population's grown to over 200,000. Um, still has a small town feel which is kind of cool but for several years Gilbert was uh, was fast, one of the fastest if not the fastest growing communities in the country. Um, so it's it's grown a lot and there's been some infrastructure problems you know traffic and things like that but there's some really cool places in Gilbert. A lot of people don't know about it. Um, I would have been the Gilbert real estate guy if I could have been, but, <laughs> but then people would be going, where the heck is Gilbert? So that's why I'm the Phoenix real estate guy. But I love living here. Um, I, I wouldn't live any other place in the Phoenix that would be in the Phoenix Valley. And uh, where are we today? Today we are at Liberty Market, which is a really cool restaurant. Um, the owner-operator is a guy named Joe Johnston. He's a great guy. He's really into social media. He owns three restaurants in Gilbert. Um, Liberty Market, where we are today, Joe's Real Barbecue, which is across the street, and Joe's Farm Grill, which is in south of here, but still in Gilbert. Um, this place, I don't have all the details, but it, it's called Liberty Market because it used to be a market back in, I believe, in the 30s, uh, when there was probably 2,000 people that lived in Gilbert. Gilbert was grew up as a very agrarian community, lots of farms, uh, dairy farms, cotton farms, things like that. So back in the 30s, this was just a, a the local market in Gilbert. Joe, Joe and his team took it and renovated it two or three years ago, not long ago, but it's a really cool place. It's got great food, uh, served breakfast, wonderful breakfasts, um, and that's where we are at Liberty Market. And uh, how long have you been stopping by Liberty Market? I've been coming here close to two years, not long after it opened. It's, it's, it's not real obvious when you're driving by that it's here and it's got the big, a big Liberty Market sign, so it took a while for me to click that it was actually a restaurant. Um, I didn't really know what it was, and when I heard about it, started stopping by, um, and now I get here every chance I can. In fact, I was here for breakfast this morning. Well, you know, it's funny. You, I always do see you tweeting from here. If you had a guess, how many times are you, are you here on average during the week? Um, it probably, I probably, we, my wife and I, between the two of us, we probably average coming here four times a month, so you know, roughly once a week, and sometimes twice a day like today, but it's probably typically once a week or so that we stop by. Sometimes, I, I mean, usually I come to eat because the food's great, uh, but sometimes I'll just stop in for coffee. they got a killer espresso bar, um, so if I happen to be driving by, I'll just swing in and grab a cup of coffee. Um. You know, you really can't see uh, the inside and the outside from this video, but they really, they really are promoting a community kind of feel. There's been a lot of talk recently about a third place. How does that fit in for you with this place? Uh, it fits in great. Uh, the third place is kind of, you know, there's home and there's work and then there's third places. This is a great place to be. They have free Wi-Fi. Um, I, our real estate brokerage is virtual. We have no brick and office, brick and mortar office for our brokerage, so I typically work out of home. It's great to get a change of pace sometimes. Sometimes I'll just come down here, bring my laptop, grab a cup of coffee. They don't pressure you to get in and out. You can stay as long as you want. Um, it's got the, the employees are friendly. Uh, you know, they, they acknowledge you, they wave to you, they say hi. It's just it's a it's a cool place to hang out. Now you mentioned uh, you drink a lot of coffee, but what do you normally eat when you come here? And also any specials maybe worth noting? Um, Everything I've had here has been great, everything. My standards, if there are such a thing, uh, for breakfast they have what's called a Western Scramble, which is just what it sounds like. It's scrambled eggs with some, some pico in it and uh, chunks of, of beef. <laughs> Excuse me, that comes with like a biscuit. The biscuits are killer. Um, that's usually what I get. Lately I've been on the Demi Breakfast Kick for breakfast, which is a pancake. One pancake, scrambled egg, two scrambled eggs, I think, and either a side of bacon or a sausage. But the burgers are great, uh, really good. They've got a pasta bowl with a, we call it the bowl of meat because it's basically pasta with a bunch of meatballs in it. The pizza's really good too. They got a brick fired 
old style pizza oven. Uh, so anything to good sandwiches, um, it's all good. Special wise, they, they have a lot of short run menu items sometimes. Like they'll just have, they'll run a certain kind of sandwich for a week or two weeks, maybe a month, maybe just for a day or two. They do a lot of experimenting too. Like they'll, and they're really active on Twitter. So they'll tweet out, hey, stop by today for the what, a chicken salad sandwich um, or something. And it's just, it's just a clip experimenting around. Today's Fat Tuesday. And I guess there's some kind of deal with pancakes for Fat Tuesday. It's a tradition. I don't know. So today's special, if you want to call it that, any pancake that you got, you could get a free upgrade with you know, blueberries, chocolate chip. They have a bacon pancake, which I really wanted to try. <laughs> and somebody was talking about getting a chocolate chip bacon pancake, which doesn't Jesus. sound very good. <laughs> but I don't know. Chocolate chips and bacon, how can you go wrong? It's probably great. I mean, I think they had a granola pancake, too. So they have, they have lots of little one-off specials. Um, experimenting around with the media and stuff like that. Now, how would you break down the average person who stops in here? Is it an older crowd, younger crowd? What have you seen? That's a good question. Um, it's really a pretty diverse mix, um, which is kind of what Gilbert the town is. Um, if you look at the demographics of Gilbert, um, it's typically fairly young, 30 to, you know, young to middle age, 30 to 40 years old, lots of families. So you see, uh, I mean, you'll see everything in here from, you know, some guy with, with, with tattoos and multiple ear piercings working on his laptop to a family of four, you know, with, with little kids. It's, it's quite a mix, which is, kind of, which is why I like it. It's not, it's not really just one, one type of audience. Now, last question. Um, how is Liberty Market uh, using social media? Liberty Market, all of Joe Johnston's restaurants, uh, I think use social media better than almost any other, maybe the best use of social media in the restaurant space that I've seen, and maybe even retail in general. Uh, they're very personal. Uh, they they reply, they respond to tweets back. It's not just they don't just shove out, you know, Matthew here's today's special. Here's to, you know, come on down and eat today's special. In fact, talk to Joe. Uh, he doesn't really run. He doesn't run Twitter specials. Some people have said, hey, why don't you tweet out? two dollars off of Barbie if you played at Joe's Barbecue. And he doesn't really do that. Um, what they do that gets me, and by get me, I mean gets me in here eating, is some of their guys that run their Twitter accounts will send out twit pics, pictures of the food. And so I'm sitting there at home, and then Liberty Market or Joe's Real Barbecue or the Farm Grill will say, hey, look at today's, uh, look at this sandwich we just made. And I'm like, crap, that looks delicious. And the next thing I know, I'm down at one of his restaurants eating. Um, but the, the important thing to me is really the, their involvement. It's not just shoving stuff out. They engage. Usually, if I'm here, I'll tweet. If I send out a twit, twit, twit pick, I'll say, you know, here's my breakfast at Liberty Market. Within 30 minutes, you know, I, they'll use be an at reply on Twitter. Hey, thanks for stopping by. We appreciate your business. That type of thing. So they they go back and forth and they engage with their with their customers, which is really cool. Cool. Well, looks like a very cool place. Uh, I appreciate you helping us on our first of our five places in five weeks in Gilbert, and you'll be joining us next next week for our second place in five weeks. Absolutely. Thanks. Looking forward to it. Thanks a lot, Jay. I really appreciate it.